Welcome to Startup Funding with Dr. Roshana Novellis, the podcast for business owners ready to attract funding. We talk with founders who have successfully raised money, venture capitalists, and angel investors who have funded amazing startups. You'll get all the information that you need to take your business to the next level. Now your host, wealth advocate, Dr. Roshana Novellis. Hi, I'm Dr. Roshana Novellis, host of Startup Funding and producer of the Enrich Her Initiative. I am so excited to be highlighting so many awesome entrepreneurs from Atlanta. Today we have Jen from the Atlanta Beer Boutique. Hi. Welcome. Hey, thank you for having me. Of course. Can you tell us more about how you came up with this idea? Sure. So I've been drinking beer for a long time. Uh, I won't divulge how long, but um, <laughs> my father actually got me started drinking beer. I used to, uh, he used to let me sip a little bit of his beer when he poured it. Um, I was like five years old. So I've been, I've been on this beer thing for like 38 years. <laughs> long time. What well, you told um, us now. I know, right? <laughs> Dang. Um, busted. Pop is busted. Um, but I really got into beer uh, interning. Um, I used to have internships in Boulder, Colorado okay. in the 90s, and that was when the beer scene was really just exploding on the West Coast and in the mountains, and um, just got into really good beer. It's my first time having great beer, and I've always just had a, a, a taste for it. It is an acquired taste for sure, but I do believe that I, you know, having that internship and having the opportunity to drink really good, high-quality beer at an early age really just put me on to... Um, to what beer really could be. And from there, just kind of fell in love with it. And over the last maybe five or six years, I've been trying to figure out a way to make beer sort of my, my paying job. It's not what I do during my full time, okay. um, but it's my passion. And okay. so I've been working on um, creating this company, the Atlanta Brew Boutique, to kind of help me craft my own, pun intended, craft my own um, way <laughs> in the industry. Now, can you tell us more about the booming beer industry in Atlanta and how you can break into that? How have you been able to break into the industry? Absolutely. So it's growing here in Georgia um, as a state. We still are one of the very few states that, um, but this law will soon change, don't allow people to drink beer at a, at a, at a brewery. You can't like go up and just buy a, a beer at, a, at the bar at a brewery. Um, but that's changing. And with that change, we'll bring uh, lots of new legislation that will really open up the floodgates and allow and really be more welcoming to breweries to locate here. Um, that's the only difference with Atlanta. We have the transportation, we have the location, we have the professional um, crowd and sort of the demographics that would um, be very welcoming to this beer culture, mm -hmm. but we just didn't have the laws. And now that that's changing, okay. I think we can expect to see um, the industry just take on a new level here in Atlanta. And my shop will create sort of um, a space for people to do that comfortably. Um, I'm very, very interested in providing high quality beer, but also a very high level of customer service for my, cus for my customers and for my clients, um, especially since beer is still kind of new here and people want to know about it and are curious about it, but don't really know where to start. And so that's the kind of niche that my business will fill is to create a place where shopping experience um, supersedes everything and cre creates um, just opportunity for everyone to enjoy it. Right. I was talking to a friend recently and he told me that there's so much money to be made in craft beers, but people really don't know about it, especially people of color. Absolutely. <laughs> so you're going to have an education process in addition to a, a, a venue where people can partake. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm glad you brought that up because I, I, I'd like to sort of be clear about what my vision is because mm -hmm. it's not like many things that you see here in Atlanta. So mm -hmm. I will have a retail store. Okay. You just think like fancy wine shop. Right. It'll be like that, but with beer. So it'll be um, nice bottles of beer, glassware, books, um, all kinds of um, things to sort of round out your experience when you go home. But next to that, a venue where I can hold my tastings, classes, workshops. Okay. It'll have a, a small commercial kitchen so that we can do home brewing lessons. Um, it will just kind of be a playground, really, for people to explore beer. I'm really excited about it. Yeah. Awesome. So what's the most exciting thing that's going on with the Atlanta Beer Boutique right now? Um, gosh, it's kind of hard to just pick one, right? Like asking a mom to pick their favorite child. <laughs> They're yes. all exciting. Everything I'm doing is super exciting. But right now, I really am focusing on opening up the store. Okay. And so, um, and it's taking me way outside of my comfort zone. I'm not um, a big asker, but that's changing. 
and I'm learning that you know you have not because you asked not. And so, I um, I am excited about finding funders to support my dream and to back me on opening this door. Awesome. So, what can the listeners, the viewers, do right now to make your dream a reality? Mm, follow me. That would be fantastic. <laughs> I'm always trying to grow my my presence online and my social media presence. So you can follow my blog, which is atlantabeerboutique.com. On Facebook, I'm Atlanta Beer Boutique, and on Twitter and Instagram, I'm ATL Beer Boutique. But if people, I just feel like um, right now my biggest um, barrier mm -hmm. is um, just exposure. And it's because of what you said. A lot of um, this beer culture is very much like our fraternity. It is, yeah. And, and it, is, uh, it is challenging sometimes to um, kind of break that stigma. And then beer itself, I think, has a negative stigma. So I think if people just experience it and learn more about it, learn more about me and what I'm doing, right. um, that will be a huge help to just changing the conversation around beer and changing the understanding about it being something that's actually very complex, very sophisticated. And um, yeah, I think that would be very helpful if okay. folks could just open their minds and, and do that by learning more about me and what I do. Well, I challenge you to find out more about Jen and what she's doing and support her business. And I just thank you so much for being a guest on this show and awesome. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much, appreciate it. Startup Funding is partnering with the Enrich Her Initiative to showcase the best women-led enterprises from the city of Atlanta. Go to startupfunding.co and click on Enrich Her to learn about every entrepreneur that we showcase and how you can take part in this amazing initiative. Thank you for listening to Startup Funding with Dr. Roshana Novellis. Visit startupfunding.co for tools, resources, and events. Join us next time for another edition of Startup Funding.